All right, guys. This is on the uh, the rally that was held in uh, San Diego, California. Uh, the police that were on the ground via San Diego PD, um, among other groups, no doubt, county, etc., were segregating the crowd into pro-Trump and anti-Trump groups. And basically the idea sparked a lot of violence. Nearly a thousand people came to the protest or rally. And there was a whole lot of discussion whether or not, you know, they were allowed past certain points. And obviously there were, you know, people who got lost who, you know, needed to go around another way to get to their cars and this and that and couldn't do it. And then there were people who basically, you know, said, well, this is illegal. You know, segregation is illegal. And it is illegal. It's illegal by race. It would be illegal by behavioral or ideology. And it is illegal. And it should be illegal. So these police state officials are now segregating groups of individuals at rallies for the political opponents uh, at the Trump rally. I don't know whether or not they've done it at the Bernie rallies or the Hillary rallies. Well, Hillary's so freaking small, she still she can still hold hers in a uh, in a gymnasium. So it's only a matter of time before they find out that you know she might not even get the ticket. But anyways, folks, this is what's really going on. This is the real situation. Uh, there's a Twitter from the uh, San Diego PD and then one by Trump. So you'll find this out. So anyways, folks, this is the situation at this rally. 35 people were arrested, which actually is a lowball number if you consider a thousand was in the crowd. But these people were known to actually had been segregated into pro-Trump and anti-Trump groups. Now, how they were how they figured that out, you know, I would have never answered any litmus test. I would have said, look, I'm here for the rally. I'm not here to be detained. I'm not here to answer your questions. I'm sorry. I, I don't believe in that. And I'm not here. I don't have your $800 for your extortion for, to sit in your jail cell because I, quote unquote, had a behavioral issue or a behavioral ideology that you do not believe in or that you were not paid to believe in by your banks. So anyways, folks, this really did happen. They really did segregate them. I'm getting to that in a second. And you'll see just as quickly as, as uh, this. And I am using Movie Maker, and this is how I'm usually doing this. It helps cut down on the... Uh, uh, the situation involving the static and all scratching noises. But 35 people were arrested, the pro-Trump and anti-Trump groups, as they were clashed in San Diego. And the police officials did have to, or supposedly have to, quote-unquote, segregate the groups. My word, not theirs. They said separate. I say segregate. It's the same thing. If you segregate from race and it's illegal, it's, it's illegal under behavior or ideology as well. So this is how this is, folks. We're getting the meat and potatoes right now. All right, so what this basically says is police and riot gear were called to separate Donald Trump protesters and supporters Friday afternoon after they clashed outside a rally for the present of Republican nomination in San Diego, California. According to San Diego police, 35 were arrested. Uh, there's supposedly no property damage and quote unquote no injury. San Diego PD on Twitter said final update 35 arrests were made today. During the protest, no property damage was reported, no injuries were reported. Uh, 1228 a.m. through 28 May 2016. 335 likes. I'm sorry for the chair squeaking. Uh, the roughly Thousand demonstrators gathered on both sides of the street outside a San Diego Convention Center, so they segregated them by the side of the street they were on. So basically, the toast butter right side up, or the toast butter left side up, or however Dr. Seuss put it. Uh, Trump supported the chant, you can't vote and build that wall. Or Trump supporters chanted, you can't vote 
and build that wall. A helicopter loudspeaker and ground speakers repeatedly made announcements that unlawful assembly was declared and anyone in the area would be arrested if they stayed. Well, that's illegal under your First Amendment and your Second Amendment rights. I mean, not your Second Amendment, but your, your right to assembly and your right to free speech. So they violated that and they segregated them. So police forced protesters out of the area by firing pepper spray balls and at the crowd. Uh, Trump took to Twitter uh, to thank San Diego Police Department and referred to the anti-Trump protesters as thugs. So, this is actually a good thing, I guess. So, what this basically says under here is that, again, roughly a thousand assembled in the San Diego Convention Center or outside. Uh, some protesters were holding Mexican flags from other countries and, and from other countries yelled, dump Donald Trump. Trump supporter chanted, you can't vote, build that wall. That's when the helicopter loudspeaker and the ground... Uh, loudspeakers repeatedly made announcements, you know, that this was unlawful assembly now, and it was declared that anyone in the area would be arrested if they stayed. Police forced protesters out by firing uh, pepper spray balls at the crowd. Trump took to the Twitter to thank the San Diego PD uh, while referring to anti-Trump protesters as thugs. He wrote, fantastic job on handling the thugs who try to disrupt our peaceful and well-attended uh, rally. Greatly appreciated. So, you guys get this. It wasn't all about one thing or another. It was simply about the situation at hand. So, as I said before, these guys were being segregated. I mean, right from the get-go, this was... This was almost a setup for violence. Uh, whether or not, I mean, I mean, it, it was it was basically like a police state set up for violence. I mean, first they basically did, told them they could only be on one side of the street, which is illegal under segregation law. Then they told them that you know, under your ideology, you now have to be here. And then basically, after the chanting started, okay, now it's unlawful assembly. Well, shit, I can't even be there then. At that point, it's like, why even have the damn assembly, the damn rally? I mean, that's just ridiculous. And this is what Donald Trump had actually said. This is what he actually said. Uh, where's my thing, would you? Okay, so Donald J. Trump at the real Donald Trump, or at real Donald Trump. Uh, at San Diego PD, fantastic job on handling the thugs who tried to disrupt our very peaceful and well-attended rally. Greatly appreciate 10.48 p.m. 27 May 2016. Uh, 5,009 shares, 16,386 likes. Um, so you guys get that. And this is actually quite good. I'm quite happy with this, and I can't be happier about anything else. I mean, now we see that they're now segregating people at the uh, rallies. And then when they start chanting and start acting like it's a sports game, what happens? They call it unlawful assembly and tell everybody to disperse. Well, that's illegal under the First Amendment right. You have the right to assembly. You have a right to free speech. And if you have a right to do that, you have a right to get a little bloody. You do. It's no different than if it was a sports game at this point. I mean, half those people there probably had nothing to do that day anyway, so let them be. I, I personally would have let them have at it, but I mean, nearly a thousand people, yeah, there would have been property damage, there would have been people injured. I mean, I don't know, so some kind of sports arena, I guess, where if they wanted to go at it, you know, they could kind of go at it in a safe environment, but... That's just what I would do. I mean, let's be honest, if they want violence, let them have violence. Let them have violence safely. <laughs>